Good morning, everybody. There's no load for us today. So we slept at our yard uh, this last night, hoping that they would have something for us first thing this morning. All they had for us was uh, an email saying that they uh, had nothing for us. So we're going home. That's the good news. The bad news is we're not working, but uh, I'll take it. Let's go home. Maybe they'll have something for us tomorrow. <sighs> So I decided I'm going to take all my bedding home, even if I'm just home for the day, give it a wash. I always like the smell of clean laundry in my truck. I love it. So I wash my bedding quite often. I have to replace my sheets more often than some people, I think, because they wear out. I'm also an aggressive sleeper, apparently. I wear sheets out really quickly. <laughs> Put that in my laundry bag here. We're good to go. You want to go home, Diesel? Would you like to go home? Put that in the back of the pickup. Get ready to go. I received this as a gift recently, too. It's uh, my own little uh, bean to cup, a little single cup coffee maker. Still have to unpack it and figure out how to use it yet. This is stuff from my fridge. It's got to go into the fridge at home. Yeah. Okay. Well, Diesel, what do you think? Time to go home? What do you think? <laughs> we need an air freshener in here. I wonder if I have one in here. I need to get this truck detailed again. Oh, 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 looks like we do have one. Nice, the masks are attacking it though. Thanks. Oh, I need to, I need to clean up this truck so bad. <sighs> very soon, very soon. We've got a couple of things we want to get done at home. I'll talk to you about them today or tomorrow. Yeah, probably, yeah, you'll, you'll probably know by the time you hear this, but just in case. I want, want to make sure that Britt is there when I tell you guys everything, but we got a few big things going on right now. Once those big things are over and uh, the dust settles, then I'm going to get this truck detailed. I'm going to treat myself to a nice clean interior pickup. Well, I sat here for about another hour yet begging for work. It's hard to get out on a Thursday because anywhere I go is usually about a two day drive and nobody unloads on Saturdays. So if I would leave today, I'd get wherever I'm going on Saturday and I'd have to sit till Monday anyways. So even Fridays are hard to get out unless if you're going three days, right? Because then Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going home. I'm guessing I'll probably be home now until, like, Saturday, Sunday. And, uh, that would make more sense, because then wherever I'm going, I can deliver on a Monday. That's too bad. I've been trying to keep busy, because I got some time off coming at the end of this month, which we'll talk about a little bit later, or in a separate video coming out very soon, if you haven't seen it already. I don't know when I'm going to release that. Probably today. Yeah, you'll probably know already what I'm talking about. But just in case, uh... I have some time off coming at the end of this month, and uh, when I book specific days off, it's it sort of messes up the schedule because they don't want to send me too far because then I won't get back in time for my scheduled time off, right? So I got to do a bunch of short runs, and if they don't have anything short available, sometimes there's just nothing available. Well, I guess I'm just stuck at home, and that's why I don't like booking specific days off. I like just taking time off whenever it works and suits the schedule. It is what it is. Let's go home, shall we?
I got these for him. There's some plain ones in here, right? There should be. I'll give you an extra one. Yep. Oh, okay. More the better. There you go. Thank you. Diesel, you got a Tim bit, man. That's why we love going to Tim Hortons. Every time you go to Tim Hortons, at least in Steinbeck here in my hometown, uh, if you go through the drive-thru and you have a dog in your car, they'll give you a plain Timbit for your dog. If you want it. Lucky boy, can you sit now, please? Can you sit? I know you're all excited. Can you sit? No, Tim Hortons is way too exciting. I get it, I get it. I don't want to sit down either, but I can't stand up in here. You gotta sit down, bud. Come on, sit down. There you go, good boy. We got all the way to Timmy's and realized, huh, I left my passport and wallet in the truck. I got my driver's license with me, but I don't got my most important stuff with me. I usually keep that stuff very close to me and uh, I'm not usually this far apart from it. I don't like not being with my passport at all times because that is sort of like my lifeline. That is what uh, keeps food on the table, you know? I gotta be able to keep moving. So, we gotta go all the way back, grab the passport, because I don't know how long I'm gonna be home. Because like I said, I still don't have a plan. The plan right now is that there is no plan. So just in case that that plan turns out to further itself into a longer no plan, I wanna make sure I have all my important documents and stuff with me at home. All the way back for this. It's actually all my valuable stuff, the GPS. This is like almost $1,000 to replace that. Satellite radio, I don't even know how much it is to replace these now, I don't wanna know. Very important documents. I got my passport, my fast card, my birth certificate. Very important, and this is like all my like uh, cards that I don't need every day. Yeah, gift cards, this and that. It's also got my key card to get into the, the yard here. And uh, all of my payment cards, my driver's license, and everything that I need to carry with me more often, I keep in here. This has those uh, protective layers in there so that the people, the scammers, can't walk past you and steal your money. Tap those cards, right? So it's got, that's a protective wall. That's where I keep all my, I shouldn't be telling you all this. <laughs> I trust you. I trust you. Ah! Apparently I don't trust myself. Okay, put that all there, that all there, that all there. Okay. Now we gotta go all the way back home, Diesel. My bad, buddy. Still, buddy. Hey guys. Whoops. Here, let me get this blanket out of here. Careful. Hey, Wiener. Hey, Wiener. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, Frank. How you doing, old man? How you doing, bud? <laughs> Mom's not with me. Mom isn't with me. Hey, Wiener. No, Mom is still at work. Mom's still at work. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh. I love the way I get greeted at this house. Oh, so good to be home. So good to be home. Good boy. Good boy. Watch out, weasel. Here I come. Watch out. Chevy hates anything that rolls on wheels. Watch this. <laughs> oh no, your toy. Save your toy. Get him. Get him! Ah! Ah! Watch out, Chevy! Here I come! Here I come! Oh, I'm going this way. Oh, thank God. First things first. Get the laundry washed. Just in case they call me in tonight yet and I have to leave right away. 
want to make sure you have clean laundry. First thing, every time you get home, always be ready. So this house is looking a little different. People are going to start piecing together what the news is. I don't know, man. We're going to wait till Britt gets home. It's looking pretty bare in here. Look at this. What do we got in here? Oh, that shelf is bare also. Everything's looking pretty empty. Diesel, what's going on? You think they can figure it out yet? <laughs> if you can't figure it out, man, I don't know what what, what, you, what you're thinking, man. <laughs> hey, wiener. Why are you following me around? Usually you don't pay any attention to me. Is it because I was gone for a couple of days? Did you miss me? Don't tell anyone, okay? This is a secret, me and you. Don't tell anyone. Okay? Secretly, I love you, okay? But if anybody asks, I hate your guts. Good boy. So yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna do a live stream today when Britt gets home. May as well, so that you get the news before you see this, so you already know. Uh, but if in the event that you haven't seen the live stream, well, I guess you should pay attention to later on in the vlog. <laughs> when she gets home. So I've got some work to do. What do you think, Big Frank? What do you think, buddy? Looks like we might have to mow the lawn. That means we get to drive our tractor. Yeah! My lovely wife, my beautiful wife left me a honey to-do list. Let's see. Take out garbage. Change couch covers, blanket and pillowcase too. Wash bed sheets, wash dog bowls. She already did one for me. Thank you very much. Fill dog water, vacuum, put away dishwater, dish washer. Dish, dish washer. It's very hard to put away the dish water, but I will put away the dish. It's already put away. It's right there. I think she means put away the dishes in the dishwasher. Dun, 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 dun. Put away the dishes. What else? Dun, 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 dun. Fill dog water. Okay. Takes a little while. You'll be surprised how fast the dogs go through this. When they're all like running around outside and having a great time and that goes in like a couple days. Two days, gone. Lunch for me today. Leftovers. Oh yeah, oh that looks so good. I think this was called fajita. Fajita bowl? Fajita bowl, I think. Oh, it's so good. Oh, 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 making a mess, making a mess. See, it's got a little filter in there. Filters out all the bad stuff. Even though we have a very expensive filtration system on this house that we put in. It was top of the line, best we could get. Our water is from our own well, comes uh, directly out of the ground. And the water's good to drink, directly out of the ground, as much as you want. All you gotta do is pay for the electricity to pump it out. But uh, we put on this really expensive water filtration system. It's down in the dungeon. This is where we put all the people we don't like. It's also the dog house for when I'm bad. So far I haven't had to spend any night down here yet. Just saying. I'm a good boy. All right, so, oh shoot, can you see it? I'm gonna need to get the flashlight. Okay, so that's where the softener saw goes. It's the water. What's this called again? Oh, you know what I mean. I'm having a brain fart right now. You know, hot water tank is down. It's a ginormous hot water tank. I have never run out of hot water in this house. Like, that thing's huge. That's at least five and a half feet tall. Like, for the center, how many gallon it is? Dun, 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 dun. Can't see it. Oh, 270 liters. Never run out of water in this house before. And that's another water filter there. That's a brand new water pump. That's the pump that my dad installed for us because the old one uh, conked out on us. And then all this mess in here. That's the crawl space under the house. Yeah. Spooky, right? I don't like being down here. Let's go. Let's leave the underworld down there. 
I like living up here with the living. But that's our new water system. It was actually quite expensive. My brother-in-law works uh, at a company that sells them. So we knew what to get and man, did it make a difference in our water. It made it, like it was already good. Now it's just, you don't need bottled water. You got this right here, it's perfect. And it cost enough, it better be perfect. <laughs> All right. There we go. And it automatically goes down there, fills up the bowl for them. And that's the date that we put on there. That's when we have to change the filter, so we don't forget. We got all those filters up here, I think. What do we got here? We got masks, masks. Here they are. Oops, my whole bag of filters. Just these little square things. Water pedestal, water throne thingy right here. There we go. Fresh water, come and get it. Come and get it. Anybody want some fresh water? Got some fresh water right here. I don't think you can get through that way, Weasel. Anybody else want some fresh water? Water? I like water. Come on, Chevy, come here. Come here, bud. I got some fresh water for you. Figure it out, boys, you're smart. Go around that way. There you go. Come on down. Yeah. Check it out, eh, Chef? You're very welcome. I am a kind and generous king. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Yeah. All right. So, fill dog water. Check. Okay. Yeah, let's go to a different one. Yeah, let's go to a different one. Yeah, let's go to a different one. Take out garbage. Yeah, let's go to a different one. Pick up dog poop. None of these are very fun. Okay. What do you think, big guy? Fresh couch covers. Not bad, eh? Oh, blanket and pillowcase too. Huh. Yeah, it would be this stuff. I just folded it up nicely. She wants it washed. Okay. Then we shall wash it. The wife wants it washed. The wife gets it washed. Do any of you guys out there do laundry too? I do laundry. I heard a lot of guys don't do their own laundry. What are you, 12? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just bugging you, I'm just bugging you. If you have a wife that does all of your laundry for you, be thankful, okay? Be thankful. I actually don't let my wife do my laundry. I do all mine, my own. I lived on my own for so many years before I even met her. I just got used to it. I have my own system. I have my own way of doing it. Certain things go in the dryer. Certain things don't go in the dryer. Certain things go together. Certain things don't go together. Don't mess with my laundry. All right, I'll do my own laundry. Some people, uh, well, some wives actually like doing all the laundry for the whole family. And maybe it's just easier to do it that way. Especially if you got kids, just throw it all together, get it all done at once. That makes sense. But for my lifestyle, I'm home every now and then, gone every now and then. I have my own like laundry, like that blue bag that I carry everywhere, got my whole life in it, all my laundry and everything. I just take care of my own stuff. That's just the way I do it. It's... Time to go mow the lawn. It needs a good cut already. Look at that. X. There you are. My pretty. You beautiful, you beautiful one. Oh yes! I guess I should make sure it's full of gas first. <laughs> Can add a little bit of Primo in there. There's always something to do. Always. There's never a day where like, wow, I have nothing to do. I haven't had a day like that since I was like 13. Those were the days. Ugh. This thing sure takes a lot more fuel than the old mower. I still have the old mower. I'm gonna use it a bit in the future yet for uh, like bush work when I wanna cut down long grass and stuff. I wanna keep this mower nice for mowing the nice lawn, but the other mower, still have it in the corner over there. You can see there's more packed stuff in here yet. All right. 
But yeah, I'm gonna use that more in the future. I got a plan for it. Oops, I don't wanna get too rough now. Here we go. I'll talk to you when I'm done. feel much better about myself now. Something about having a nice lawn is tied to a man's self-esteem. I don't know, it just makes me feel better about myself when the lawn is cut. But this vlog's getting pretty long already. I know some of you want like double length and you keep asking for more and more. I appreciate that, but I try to keep them manageable <laughs> so you don't have to spend the whole day watching. But hey, there's gonna be another vlog tomorrow. So if you like this one, don't worry. We'll have another one up tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it and hit the bell so that you get notified when I release it. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Britt's working late tonight, so she'll be in tomorrow's video. See you later.